Well, it's officially uh, oil change day. Now, oil changes you would think would be pretty simple for most people to grasp, but there's a couple little things that I wanna go over here that some people I think seem to miss, especially on the Subarus. So uh, let's show you some stuff here. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be doing an oil change on the WRX. In fact, it's gonna be its first oil change. We just got a little over 2,100 miles on the car now, almost 2,200 miles. And really don't need to do an oil change right now, but just for peace of mind, I'm gonna do the first oil change now. So first things first, I'm gonna go with some Royal Purple in the 5W30 flavor what the car recommends. Um, not necessarily royal purple, but I like their shit, so that's what I'm gonna use. Second thing, these are genuine Subaru oil filters. There's a part number there if you want one. And then the final little piece that some people seem to always forget on these cars, and it's kind of a critical step, but you wouldn't think about it, but these little guys, crush washers. If you're gonna be doing an oil change on a Subaru, I mean really any vehicle that uses a crush washer, for the love of God, please replace it. These are one time use only parts, not let's change the oil a hundred times and keep reusing it parts. They're cheap, like a dollar, a few cents, I don't know what they were, but there's a part number there. I want to go over a couple things real quick before we get the car up in the air completely. First of all, I always recommend cracking your oil fill. It breaks the vacuum so that when you drain it, it has an easier time blowing out the oil pan. Crack it enough to where it breaks the vacuum and it can drain. Second of all, on these cars, since the oil filter is up top here, I usually recommend pulling this off first before you drain the oil. Reason being, when you pull this off, all that old, old oil that's in this and this whole system drains back into the pan so that when you drain it, all you're getting everything from here down. So let's rip this puppy off real quick. Just like that. If you're gonna be doing oil changes on a lift, one thing I highly recommend investing in is one of these guys. Pretty cheap at Harbor Freight. I think it was like 50 bucks or something like that. I can't remember. But it comes in handy. You don't get oil all over your floor. And you can do it with a drain plan on the floor, but this is so much nicer. Anywho, underneath here, pretty easy to get to. You don't have to take anything off. Luckily, Subaru was nice and Put it in an accessible area. Right there, there's your uh, drain plug. Just a 13 millimeter bolt. So grab yourself a 13 millimeter socket and a ratchet and get that guy off there. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So as I literally just get done explaining how fantastic this thing is, I go ahead and do this. Splatter oil everywhere. That was my bad. Poor execution. These things do work good though. So with that top little oil fill cracked, the oil drains out so much faster. And just basically let it drain until it's to a drip. You don't have to drain every tiny little bit of oil out of there. It's not gonna make that big of a difference, but try to get as much out as you can. If you're gonna be doing an oil change, you might as well be doing all of it, not half of it, or a fraction of it. All right, well that's uh, 
draining over there. Let's go ahead and get this cleaned off. So that crush washer I had mentioned lives right here. I found it easiest if you take a razor blade and basically just run it right along this edge because it gets stuck on there. So right there. Just like that. So make sure that you just run a razor blade along the edge because I think a lot of people don't realize there is a crush washer there because it does get kind of stuck on the bolt itself. But please replace it. Don't not replace it. Such a cheap part. Once again, if you have this off, you might as well do it. You have to have it off to change the oil anyways, so just, just do it. Um, so now as far as the crush washer is concerned, it really doesn't have any particular orientation. Uh, if you look at it though, one side is kind of more flat than the other. I personally like to put that flat side facing down on the bolt or plug, bolt, bolt plug, whatever you want to call it. Just like that. You'll see the top side's a little bit rounded. So that's that. Let's go ahead and get this puppy put in the car. Now there is technically a torque spec for this especially since there's a crush washer so let me get that here for you okay and the torque spec on the actual drain plug itself is 28 foot pounds make sure you torque it down to that don't just hammer it down once again because there's a crush washer in there there's a certain torque spec for this for a reason Like that, we are twerked. All right, I'm gonna grab our new oil filtering unit here. This plastique off. Off. No longer needed. Oh. Okay, that's that. So, one common misconception here is that you have to take oil and oil up this O-ring. That's not correct. You don't have to do that. What that does, if you do do that, basically allows you to twist it on tighter. So, I mean, I don't know, it's not needed. So, it's up to you. I personally don't do it. But go ahead and stick that guy on there. Tighten it down, snug. it over tight because then it's a bitch to get off again then we're gonna go ahead and put some oral in this here unit all right so the 2015 to 2021 wrx takes 5.4 quarts of 5w30 synthetic so once again we got 5w30 royal purple which is synthetic so we're gonna dump this whole unit in there Give her the old purple drink. Oh yeah. Oh. You know, this is extremely frustrating, like just in general, but especially as like a car person. When you order parts and you get a shipping date that you assume your parts gonna show up and then it doesn't show up it just disappears into the black abyss of shipping especially FedEx like look at this package originates in of course there's a glare Fort Myers Florida and it's shipped out on the 9th so you're telling me that it goes from Fort Myers Florida to almost 1300 miles away to Chicago Illinois in one minute and then four hours later it goes another 1300 miles back to Fort Myers Florida disappears for 10 days and then all of a sudden appears in Troutdale Oregon which is another I don't know 2000 miles away something like that like how come on FedEx get your shit together this, this is annoying
Like, if you're not gonna get your stuff to me, like, on time, or not your stuff, my stuff to me on time, like, stop telling me that you're gonna get it to me at a certain time. Like, I would rather you tell me that it's gonna be here later, because all it does, it says potentially delayed, and then it just gives you no information on it, like, okay, potentially delayed, why? Why is it potentially delayed? Why is every single package from FedEx potentially delayed? Like, come on. If you can't meet the dates that you advertise for shipping, don't advertise them. Tell the correct dates because it looks bad when you like tell me it's gonna be here in three days and it shows up like a week and a half later. That's dumb, stop doing that. Oh, right on the dot, perfect. Not that you can see that or not, but we're right at the top dot. Good enough for me. Bam! Dunzo! So you know the other thing I never quite understood about oil changes? Like, when you look up the oil capacity and like the type of oil a vehicle takes, have you ever noticed how it says with or without a filter change on a lot of vehicles? Like, who the hell is changing oil and not replacing the filter? Like, why? Why would you do that? Why would you go through the effort of draining all the shitty oil out to then not replace the filter. That makes zero sense to me. Anyways, that's gonna wrap today's video up. So make sure that you replace that crush washer. I know you guys don't do it out there, some of you guys anyways. You know who you are, just do it. Stop not doing it, it's dumb. As you saw though, with my little shipping debacle here, we got some parts coming, so comment down below what you think they are. I think uh, might surprise you, might not. We'll see. Actually, you'll see. I already know. Anyways, if you like this video, smash that like button. Once again, consider subscribing if you like the content I'm creating. And if you have any questions, comment down below. I'm happy to answer any questions you have within my ability to answer. So, once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.